A concert of voices, albeit joined in various iterations of prayer, is the climax of an excursion to Sunday Wood. Men, women and children, approximately a hundred villagers from across the indigenous Maya community, have congregated along the seven-mile stretch. In their native tongue, supplications are being recited, seeking moral and spiritual guidance to resolve an ongoing conflict. The symbolic gathering is an act of rebellion against the powers that be. If it is a crime to walk on our own land, if it is a crime to, to walk freely on our own land, then let them take us where they want to take us. It is a day after the government of Belize issued a letter waiving the deadline for a permit granted to U.S. Capital Energy to conduct exploratory work within the Sarsun Tamash National Park. From now on, there's going to be a vigorous monitoring of every detail of U.S. Capital's energy activity. Since its arrival a few years ago, the multinational oil company has found itself in a fix with the buffer communities fringing this protected area. Despite successive rulings by the Supreme Court affirming and endorsing communal land rights, the Maya of Southern Belize are repeatedly disrespected. We are fortified by the Supreme Court judgment, several of them. We are right not, or, not only morally, but we are right legally. If there is anybody that is breaking the law of this country, it is the government of Belize. Yes. yes. If there is anybody that upholds the violation of the constitution of this country and enforces our political readers' arrogant policies towards these indigenous people, it is the police. So they are the lawbreakers. They are the lawbreakers. We have every right to be where we are because the Supreme Court have successively said this land belongs to the Maya community. Notwithstanding that decree, permission to enter the national park from this particular access point has to be sought from U.S. Capitol. As part of its work within the area, the company has constructed a rock-strewn road leading to the A1 drill site. Today, a delegation of leaders from the 38 Mayan communities has journeyed to Sunday Wood and its members are intent on crossing the restricted entrance. We have had this discussion many times. The company has always invited any village leader who would like to come in to visit the site, to please get in touch with us, let us know your desire that you want to visit, and we would facilitate the visit. We have no problem to let any alcalde, second alcalde, chairman to come in. But we cannot have all this crowd go back there and be walking around. It is unsafe. There is a swamp back there. We asked the last time, we asked, please don't bring children. We took the entire village of Sunday Wood to visit, right? And we asked them, please don't bring the children because we don't know. We can't see people might fall in the swamp. We don't know. And then we are liable, you understand? In spite of the likelihood of injury caused by having children wandering around the location, a brief conference among themselves returned an ultimatum. The response from the, from the leaders and from the community members is that they want to join the, their alcaldes and the chairman that's here. As we had explained, the purpose is to go and see what's happening out there. This is Maya lands and, uh, and, and we, we want to Mr. be able to enter the land. Let me, let me try and make it simpler for the people, right? This is a big crowd of people. We can't deal with all of this. We can't deal with the security of this crowd. Before long, the police, who remained on standby since receiving word of the crowd's intention, would become involved. The aisle company or the aisle company representative is saying that you did not go through the proper process to have this visit done today. If you did not go through that proper process, then you are giving people the reason to want to one, to oppose on what you are doing or to create problems on the other side. We have three bus loads, three, three, the same three way how of people from the sea coming Mr. into Chuck, the site. Mr. Chuck, so we don't need to be negotiating us, here. Mr. Dominguez, you, are, you seem to be taking the lead in this discussion. Yes. I want to ask you, for the record, 
Are you speaking on behalf of the government of Belize and the oil company I, um, expressing yeah. that no. the government no. is exercising a, a compulsory acquisition of Maya land? Are you preventing Maya people from walking on their land? Yes or no? That's yes or no? It's a yes or no question. No. No. It's a yes or no question. Otherwise, yes. you're going to walk no. out. You come and check what is going on in our land. This is a free land, man. It belongs to us. I'm walking on my land, brother. Regardless of the answer which Inspector Ernold Dominguez attempted to give, the crowd would hear nothing of it. Instead, he cautioned MLA's program coordinator, Pablo Miss, as well as president of the Toledo Alcaldes Association, Alfonso Cal. Beside all these people here, I will help you and you accountable for anything that should go up the ordinary. Please have that recorded. I will help you accountable. So if after five, ten days, you saw the police come to your house to pick you up, we will not be picking up all these people. Uh, you, 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 you have to pick up and with that, the throng stormed the access, proceeding on foot a distance shorter than half a mile into the territory, before stopping abruptly to hold worship. The idea from the onset, however, was to understand the lay of the land as it concerns U.S. Capital's activities within the Starstone Tamash. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.